Hello, this is Adam Van Ort with Legacy Storage Pine Island in Pine Island, Minnesota. And today I'm going to give you a tour of a 11 by 20 self storage unit. First thing I'm going to do is show you kind of how the lock works. If you look here, this is the actual lock in the unit. It's a cylinder lock. And then this is the latch, the thing that slides back and forth to latch into the frame of the door. Uh, you can see if you look at this lock, that little tab right there is aligned with this tab out here. In that position, you know the lock's ready to be used and you can unlock it and take it out. If that little tab on the inside cylinder is rotated counterclockwise up here 45 degrees and aligned with that tab, then you know it's in the lockout position. And that usually happens if someone hasn't paid rent and it's way overdue. We'll lock out the unit until the rent has been paid. But right now it's in a, it's in a normal position where it's ready to be unlocked. And so I can take my key, and the key looks like this, and you can see that little tab right on the top, that little notch, that has to align with the notch in that lock. So if I turn this thing so that that tab is facing to the right, I can slide it in there like that, and now it's spring-loaded, so I just push it in a little bit, turn it 90 degrees, and I can pull the whole thing out. I'll show you one more time. These tabs are aligned in this position, that means it's ready to be used. This tab on this key is right here at the top. I'm gonna to rotate that so that it aligns over here. You can slide that right in. Rotate it 90 degrees and pull the whole thing out. All right, so now the unit's unlocked and ready to be opened. Now I just take this slide and I push it, this latch, and slide it to the left. Now if I try to do it right now with just my finger strength, it's probably not gonna go because these doors are spring-loaded a little bit. So all I do is there's a handle on your door down here by the bottom. Take your foot and you just push down on the door. And that takes the pressure off of this latch and now it slides freely. If I don't push down on that door, it puts a little pressure up and now it's more difficult. I can't make that thing slide. So I just push down a little bit, slide it over. All right, and now I'm unlocked and I can open the door. All right, again, this is an 11 foot wide by 20 foot long unit. You can see we've got some pallets in the back there for the tenants. A lot of tenants like to put their furniture, especially anything wood, that they don't want to get uh, any dampness on. They put those up on pallets because concrete like this will sweat a little bit when it's humid and things like that. And so anything that's very valuable that you don't want to get any moisture on, you can put up on pallets or put in plastic bins or something like that. Uh, there should never be a time where water runs into these units. Uh, the elevation is built up so that it's out of the floodplain and all that stuff. And then this concrete is another six inches higher than the dirt. Um, but that being said, this concrete can kill, still sweat. So we leave pallets in a lot of the units. If you get in a unit like this and you don't want one, you just call us up. We'll come take them out for you. Um, but a lot of people just put them down flat and set their stuff on top. Uh, this tape measure obviously isn't in every unit. I just put it here for this video. You can see an 11 by 20 unit. It's 10 feet, 7 inches up to the tape measure, another 3.5 over to the wall. This is actually about 10 feet, 10 inches wide. So an 11 by 20 doesn't mean it's exactly 11 feet by 20 feet long. Uh, it's an approximation. So don't try to bring something in here that could only fit if it was exactly 11 by 20 unless you come measure first. All right, you can see the ceilings here. I reach about 8 feet high, so this is just over 8 feet. I can touch it on my tippy toes. Um, it's a little lower here at the door, obviously, than it is uh, in the back since the roofs are slanted a little bit. But the roofs are, or the ceilings are nicely insulated. Really clean unit. Everything's metal in here. Um, and then smooth, polished concrete. Uh, you can see the door here. You know, the door clearance, we try to list the door clearance on our website for everyone. But this door doesn't go all the way up. There's about three inches here. Um, from the frame of this door that it's below so uh, you just kind of want to check and make sure if you have anything that's really tall that might be a tough fit you want, probably should check to see if it fits before you rent one all right this is our 11 by 20 at legacy storage pine island in pine island minnesota you can rent these units right online then we'll just meet you out here and give you a key our website is www.legacystoragepineisland.com uh, Hope to see you soon. Thank you.